today we will see a problem on finding out scalar potential okay and the problem is find a and b such that vector f is equal to a x y plus z cube of i plus 3 x square minus z into j plus b x z square minus y of k is a conservative force field okay hence find the scalar potential phi such that vector f is equal to del phi okay and here two questions are there so first we need to find out a and b by taking vector f as conservative force field okay and second question is to find out scalar potential phi by using this condition okay and now we'll find out the values of a and b first okay so for that write vector f is equal to a x y plus z cube into i plus 3 x square minus z into j plus b x z square minus y into k so this is in the standard form f1 i plus f2 j plus f3 k okay and while finding out the values of a and b we need to consider f as a conservative force field okay and if f is a conservative force field the condition to be taken is del cross f is equal to 0 that is curl f is equal to 0 okay by taking this condition only we need to find out a and b for that you write the formula for curl f in the left hand side that is determinant of i j k in the first row del by del x del by del y del by del z in the second row f1 f2 f3 in the third row that is to be equated to 0 okay then expand the determinant of order 3 that is i of leaving the first column and first row determinant of the other terms to be taken okay so that is i of del by del y of bx z square minus y minus del by del z of 3x square minus z okay so in the same way for the second term minus j of leaving the second column and first row remaining terms determinant to be remaining four terms determinant to be taken okay plus k of leaving the third column first row take the determinant of the determinant Uh, the remaining four terms okay so after writing the expansion equal to 0 you write and then now i of partial differentiation of the function with respect to y is there so in the first term y is not there so differentiation is 0 differentiation of minus as it is differentiation of y with respect to y is 1 okay minus 1 now coming to second term minus as it is partial differentiation of the function with respect to z is there so with respect to z 3x square is constant so differentiation is 0 and differentiation of z with respect to z is 1 okay and here minus into minus plus 1 so you got i of minus 1 plus 1 okay in the same way minus j as it is partial differentiation with respect to x so b z square as it is partial differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 okay minus y is there so with respect to x y is constant so differentiation is zero now coming to second term in the same so partial differentiation with respect to z is there so x and y constant so in the first term this is constant differentiation is zero and differentiation of z cube is 3z square okay plus k of partial differentiation with respect to x treating y and z constant so differentiation of x square is 2x 3 is a constant as it is and differentiation of z is 0 and here second term is partial differentiation of the function with respect to y so ax constant as it is differentiation of y with respect to y is 1 and this differentiation will be i mean z cube differentiation will be 0 as that is a constant with respect to y okay that is to be equated to 0 and 0 to be written as 0i plus 0j plus 0k okay now equating the respective terms you will get this is already 0 minus 1 plus 1 cancels it is 0 now equating lhs and rhs okay so minus bz square plus 3z square equal to 0 okay and the next second term is 6x minus ax equal to 0 so on simplification you will get b is equal to 3 and a is equal to 6 okay 
After finding out the values of A and B, the second question is find out the scalar potential phi by using f is equal to vector f is equal to del phi. Okay. Now writing the condition and substituting what is vector f and del phi. Del phi formula to be written in the RHS. Okay. So after writing the formula for del phi, again equating the respective terms in the LHS and RHS. So del phi by del x is equal to, I mean coefficient of i equal to in the RHS will be equal to coefficient of i in the LHS. So del phi by del x is equal to 6xy plus z cube. In the same way coefficient of j to be equated, coefficient of k to be equated. And now here you are observing you got three expressions del phi by del x, del phi by del y, del phi by del z. And our question is to find out phi. So we need to integrate these three expressions. Okay, first one with respect to x, second with respect to y and third with respect to z. So we will get three expressions for phi. And finally, we need to compare all the three expressions and we need to write one single expression for phi. Okay, that is the concept. Now, write del phi by del x, 6xy plus z cube and integrate with respect to x. Okay, so differentiation and integration, I mean after, apply, after applying integration, this differential operator we need to remove. So left hand side will be phi and 6 constant as it is, integration with respect to x we are applying. So integration of x is x square by 2, y will be constant as it is. And again z cube also constant as it is, integration of 1 to be written as x plus integration constant and integration constant to be written as the arbitrary function of y and z with respect to x y z are constant so integration constant to be written in terms of arbitrary function f of y and z okay on simplification you will get equation number one in the same way integrate del phi by del y with respect to y so left hand side is phi 3x square constant as it is integration of one is with respect to y is y okay minus as it is z constant outside integration of 1 again y plus integration constant in terms of other two variables x and z which are constants with respect to y okay calling it as equation number 2 in the same way you integrate del phi by del z with respect to z so left hand side will be phi and in the right hand side 3x as it is integration of z square is z cube by 3 minus y constant as it is integration of 1 is z plus integration constant to be written in terms of arbitrary function of other two variables ok here you are integrating with respect to z so constant will be f of x comma y and after simplification you will call this phi as equation 3 so we got three expressions for phi okay and now we need to you can easily observe in the first term i mean in the first equation 3x square y is there in second also 3x square y is there but in the third one okay it is not there okay and 3x square y is a function of x and y so that you can write in the place of f of x comma y in the third equation so you will get a common term 3x square y in the first equation, 3x square y in the second equation, in third also 3x square y in the place of f of x comma y which is a function of x y. Okay. So we go, we need to choose f of x comma y is equal to 3x square y in the same way f of y comma z to be chosen. Okay. So f of y comma z is here in the first equation. So function of yz we need to search in second and third. So function of yz is minus zy in the second equation minus zy in the third equation. So in the first equation also you need to write minus zy in the place of f of y comma z. Okay so we need to choose f of y comma z as minus zy. In the same way choose f of x comma z. Okay that is a function of x and z that is x z cube which is present in first equation and third equation ok so in the place of f of x comma z function of x z you need to choose x into z cube so you will get a common expression for phi that is phi is equal to 3 x square y ok plus 
एक्स जेड क्यूब एंड देन माइनस जेड वाई ओके दैट इज द स्केलर पोटेंशियल ओके नव यू ट्राई दिस वन